thing that we emphasize as it was uh, on the bottom is uh, get a hold of the guys and show the guys as soon as possible. Get your grips, get your more than you combine your arms and your feet, your legs, more control you're gonna have over your opponent. Sir. Last thing that you want is a lane your back, no grips, and the guys break free, right? And but if I use if I use the speed, the break ribs, I'm gonna end up in positions like this here. Should not happen. You understand? But you have like a second or two to react to pass his guard. A guys with a good guard rotation, they don't mind to stay there for a little longer because they once you engage, they're gonna figure out their way to get their grips, they're gonna hook, and, uh, and as you try to pass, they're gonna the let's go. You're gonna come across, gonna recover his guard pretty quick. But even there, if he's just using this, he's just using guard guard recovery. He's not holding you in the way they can submit you or, or sweep you. Got it? Okay. The the drill is gonna be this. Once I engage on him, I'm already. It's a combination of uh, uh, Toriano pass with leg drag with a smash pass. You can put two, all three, <coughs> uh, three positions together. It's stuff. Huh? <coughs> but how, how's gonna? I'm not gonna finish him in the stomach, and uh, I'm gonna finish kind of going for the. Uh, driving like a leg drag, but instead of dra dragging his leg, I'm gonna put myself on the side to get my arm, my leg right behind his leg. So you guys are gonna see this. And when they stand apart, my leg's gonna show for like a, a leg drag. Excuse, excuse me, I'll throw you on the pass. Okay, but, but what you want is this. This is gonna be a false grip. I don't need to hold. I wanna drive my hand opposite side that's, that I'm gonna pass his guard. It's this here. This hand here, you, you can grab the pants to the side, but it, again, like I said, I'm not spending time here. You guys are gonna see, once I get this, I'm pushing away. I'm gonna sprawl my leg to the side here, like a tripod position, not like a pussy position. It's this here. And now I'm gonna push this leg, and I'm gonna dive here. Once I dive this, my weight's forward, and my knee go right behind his back. Excuse me, right behind his butt. Sorry, you land like this. And most of the time, how it starts. You're walking a little bit to the side. Once I walk this, look what he's, going, look what he's doing. He's already turned the side, yeah, because he wants his legs in the position, he seems to stay away from you. It's, be it's better for his guard to recover. Understand? Sure. And uh, don't engage right now. If you engage here in front of him, look what he's doing. He's already holding grips. He's gonna hold in you tight. But what you wanna do is get to the side here and drive. This should not happen often against a good guard. But two things can happen. Catch him, he's took him down or he, he, he lost his grip, so you swap him right away, he goes for the pass. You know, the, 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 the three seconds uh, that you have between positions, whoever's capitalized first, you're gonna start ahead. I'm not just like this. I wanna make sure his knees stay away from me. Hips torsion me, hips away from me. Does it make sense? That I, if you do that, don't be content here. Yes, yeah, that he, he gives too much leverage for him to push his arms, to move his hips away, and get his leg across your across my head. Again, you start from side. I want to start from this, more in front of him. But once you, once I get closer to him, I'm already have my grips and I'm diving for that pass. Got it? Sure, sure. Sure. Crashes. Beautiful. Let's go. Up. 